In less than 10 years, the impossible would be The space the program has this been a major exactly part of KTRK's coverage now, since the beginning. Good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward, reporting tonight from inside the hallowed halls of NASA. In fact, from our anchor emeritus, Dave Ward, fell in love with space even before he got to ABC 13 when he was working in radio here in Houston. When I first moved to Houston in 1962 at KNUZ Radio, uh, they were very big on the space program because NASA was spread all over the city back then. And I went to, my goodness, from the last Mercury shot through Gemini Titan, through Apollo, through shuttle, uh, I made a bunch of them down there. When he moved into television, Dave owned the space beat, covering the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs. The first launch I made was the last of the Mercury program when Gordon Cooper went up into orbit for 22 orbits on top of a, an Atlas rocket, which actually was an ICBM, but they put a Mercury capsule on top of it and from then on, I was captivated by space travel, and I'm just so glad to see we're getting back into business. Along with all of the shuttle flights, including the last one in July of 2011. At the time, I don't think at the time we knew it was going to be the last shuttle launch. We may have, but I remember seeing that huge thing take off and fly up into the sky and you couldn't help but be exhilarated by that. I, it, I probably did giggle a little. When they ended the shuttle program, I, I just wondered why. But we're getting back into the space race now, and I'm glad. There are young children, <clears throat> nine years old now, who have never seen a rocket with, with astronauts on it lift off from American soil. I hope this spurs a new interest among young people to get involved in astrophysics and get involved in the space program. You know, uh, it may not be too many years before we're sending astronauts to Mars, men and women. So we'll see what happens. I think it will lift the spirit of the nation. I really do. I can't imagine why anyone would not be exhilarated and very proud that American astronauts on an American rocket are lifting off from American soil to the International Space Station, which is controlled by NASA. I think it's uh, just a wonderful thing, and I can't wait to see it go. I just hope the weather cooperates. I was there at Rice Stadium in 1962 when President John F. Kennedy told the crowd, we cho choose to go to the moon in this decade. That surprised everybody at NASA. I've interviewed everybody from Dr. Gilruth to Chris Kraft to Gene Cernan, many flight directors and astronauts. And at the time, they were just barely working on orbital flight. No, there were no plans to go to the moon. They had not made any plans for orbital rendezvous that they got to in the Gemini program. Uh, it was, it really caught everybody by surprise that day. But President John F. Kennedy, he said, we're going to do it in this decade, and we did. When you're standing down there and you hear them going down the countdown, you say a little prayer that you hope this thing works and you hope it works safely for everybody involved. But it is an unbelievable experience. To watch one of those things take off is something, if you ever see one, you will never forget it.